So let's talk about responsive design now. So pretty much uh, half of websites are accessed using a mobile phone. And in some cases more on a mobile phone, less on a desktop. In some cases more on a desktop, less on mobile phone. Uh, but generally speaking, we have to design our canvas uh, as it would look like on a phone. Uh, and on a phone, tablet, laptop, and this is what's called responsive design. So there are a few principles uh, that you have to keep in mind and just be aware of. Uh, first of all, let's look at our current page. Okay, so this has not been designed with responsive in mind at all. Okay, so how will we check if uh, what it looks like on different phone sizes or screen sizes? So right click in Chrome, uh, other browsers will have similar as well. Uh, there's called uh, inspect or developer console or whatever. So now that we have this developer console tab, no need to be afraid of what's written here. Uh, here's the top kind of responsive settings. So we can just click different dimensions. So if I want to click a laptop 1440 pixels, that's what my app's going to look like on a laptop. If I click tablet 768, that's what it's going to look like. If I click a mobile 320 pixel, it's going to look really teeny tiny, teeny tiny, which is not useful at all. Okay, so why why does it look like that? Because we haven't done any responsive work. We were not thinking. We we're learning about bubble separately. Uh, the first of all, how, what are we gonna do? Should we try and trying to make a move a page is different. We need to generally design responsively to begin with. Okay, so let's try and remake this same page. Just the name of the restaurant and the list of menu items, a very simple version, nothing fancy, uh, but think responsively first. Okay. So restaurant menu responsive. Okay. So the, the, the important thing to keep in mind, uh, we, first we have to upgrade to the new responsive engine. Uh, in a few weeks, this is going to be default. So you won't have to do this upgrade responsive engine step. Uh, Okay, now that we are here, we should be good. So the fundamental thing to keep in mind is that we need to structure our page in groups, in rows and columns. Okay, every website is usually structured in rows and columns. It's a very rigid structure. Usually you wouldn't notice it. Uh, but this is a detailed article on understanding responsiveness, including a video by Matt. Uh, this is really helpful. But I just thought I'd go over this, that you have to structure the layout. Okay, the layout is the high level pattern for how elements will be arranged. Uh, are they left to right? Are they top to bottom? Okay. Uh, and then layout uh, alignment. Yeah. Okay. Th this GIF is really good. So once we have configured the layout correctly, uh, the way when the page shrinks, the behavior, there's a certain type of behavior that happens. Okay, elements on the right will move down. All right. So let me show you what the, how this was created. And that will help. Okay, so first of all, let's make a few groups. Uh, in fact, on the page, we have the layout tab and the container layout, let's switch it to row. Okay, what the row will do is all the elements here will stack in a row. Okay, so we have our group here. It's, uh, let's change its color to something so that it's visible. So if I add another element, let's say I add a button. See the, the elements, I, I can't just drag and drop and place something here. It's, it's stacked into a row, okay? Uh, and I can move them around using this layout tab. I can move them next, back, previous, make, last. Okay, so now, or I, and I can fiddle with various properties of the page as well. Okay, spread all these elements, left align them, right align them, center align them. It's a, responsive is a huge world. The important thing at the moment for this bootcamp is A, to be aware of it. Okay, so this is the whole world of responsive design. Uh, and I, w I will link to uh, this detailed article and video in the description below. Uh, but conceptually for now, if we look at this responsive tab, this lets us test what the editors, what how the elements will behave based on different screen sizes. Okay, so 320, 768, 992. These are like common breakpoints. 
uh, as to screen sizes if you can make your app work on these sizes by and large they should work in the rest uh, as well in the real world because f phones tablets they have all sorts of screen sizes but these are like common default sizes okay so uh, just to recap the responsive design it's an area that you'll need to learn it'll take a few hours and some practice to get the hang of it you just have to think responsibly first you can't just uh, it's harder it's way harder to design and then responsive afterwards i wouldn't recommend doing that this is a skill area that needs to be learned and uh, you have to structure the layout of the page rows or columns uh, in fact let me just show columns here as well if i switch the layout to column see all of this is stacked in a column now and i can change uh, i thought uh, where is it i can apply some spacing between these columns okay so all these elements are in a column now uh, i could switch the layout to row uh, align to pair fixed is what we've been used to in the previous videos in this boot camp and align to parent is a special one it can allow you to it's a i think it's called a nonoctal or something nine edges uh, you can snap uh, an element to a particular edge okay top left bottom right uh, bottom right that's here this one bottom left or we can snap it to the center so regardless of how it the page loads that's how the buttons will behave uh, overall so let me just show this uh, that one's hidden behind the built on bubble but logo let me just move this one to bottom left and show see so these are all just kind of staying in place regardless of the vertical size and the horizontal size uh, this one didn't go up for some reason is there a reason min height yeah minimum height we've defined minimum height of the page ah that's why it can kind of shrink up and down uh, it should be uh, it should be shrinking up and down as well so and uh, yep Yep, all the way to 200 pixels minimum height back. Okay, so now our original goal was to design the same restaurant page in a responsive fashion. So let's try and do that now. So for simple designs, I prefer using the column layout and vertically stacking things. Just add a text element. Uh, we didn't pass the page type of content. So page type of content restaurant. So now we can use the current page restaurant name here okay uh we can use various properties like the top margin okay just apply a 60 pixel margin uh center this element so the properties like the parent page has properties group has properties elements have properties if we use a particular group a group inside can be fixed or row so the parent is column the inside is row or align to parent so you can kind of merge mix and match different combinations and come up with all sorts of different neat uh, ways if we add another uh, text element add a 20 pixel margin and uh, this one can be current page restaurants address and add another current page restaurants description description address so if you look at this now Uh, we need to pass it restaurant one so now it should show us let's see current page restaurant something's not loading yeah here it is now this page at the moment is a bit responsive okay uh it doesn't really look that much how should i make it more okay let's try and group these two into a row element ah now this will be good layout uh expand this row make this expand this on the left and right and this one should also have a top margin just to explain responsiveness a bit i just fiddling with this then okay so we have the name on the left address on the right and description in the center so if i shrink my screen size 
they'll go down and then at a certain point they'll they can't go like this element is going to push next to it instead of pushing like overlapping it's going to snap down a standard responsive web behavior for with flexbox All right so i think that's enough of a gist about responsive design for this boot camp uh, i will put a link to various like tutorials article descriptions in the link uh, uh, in the video description below, uh, you can have a look. Uh, there's stuff by BuildCamp. There's I have a few tutorials. Uh, Matt has a few tutorials and an article. Uh, but yeah, all right. So that's it for this video, and thank you very much. See you in the next one. Bye.